transfer to IB um, applications. Oh my god, you're still doing IB? Yeah. Oh. Okay, but I heard, because like literally half my class switched out, and, my, and Jess literally said it's so much easier. And she said that right now they're doing system and equations. Oh wait, I think we need to go back over the paper. I think the announcement should be right here. Because there's microphones. Well, um, I'm plugged in right here. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
going to cool down and all my stuff is in the car. Okay. Um, yeah. Hello sports fans and welcome to Delta Park for a 6A girls soccer matchup between Central Catholic and the visiting South Salem Saxons. I'm here, your, I'll be your host tonight filling in for Dave Hall. Joining me will be Ryan Johnson who will be helping as we commentate tonight's game. Right. I'm gonna go. Hi, Steve. Go hey Ryan. You know, we're looking at the Rams who are coming off of some tough games here tonight. I'm sure they're going to be looking at picking up their offense tonight and um, testing the Saxons to see just how much room they'll give them. On the other hand, the Saxons have done well. They, they started off the season with a loss and a couple of wins uh, and had some close games the last two games. So these teams should be pretty well matched tonight. I'm looking for a good match here. Phil looks good. Got great weather today. It's cooling down a bit, but I'm sure we'll have a good match. Yeah, Steve, looking at the teams they've played against, Central is winless so far, but the four teams they've played against have a combined record of 19-4-1. and one. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying, Ryan. You know, they had a, a rough start off. They played some good opponents, you know, but that's how you can improve your game and get ready. And tonight we'll see what, what they bring. Yeah, looking at South Salem's uh, game record so far, they're uh, two and three with wins against Southridge and North Salem, and then losses against Wilsonville Corvallis and Liberty. So a, a decent uh, level of opponent that they've played also. So this looks to be a good matchup tonight. Yeah, both teams coming off of a loss, pretty even there. I'm sure they both will be looking at this game as a chance to get back into that winning column. Girls continue to warm up. Looks like Central Catholic is getting ready for the start of the match. I see the officials are lined up uh, over on the sideline. South Salem still on the pitch. Warming up the goalie here. Some players to watch on both sides of the ball. For South Salem, we've got number eight, Mav Morris. She's a sophomore. I believe she's out on the wing, along with number 14, Caitlin Jones. She's a senior. Uh, number 18, Maya Fry, uh, Jr. So three attacking players that the Saxons are going to be looking for some production from. And then on the Central Catholic side, uh, there is an injury. Megan Grant, their starting goalkeeper, uh, won't be playing tonight. But two of the attacking players for the Rams are Lena Elmore, a senior, number five. And also Lucy Kranzenberg, sophomore, number 17. 
So we talked to the coaches before the game. And uh, South Salem coach, I think we talked to the assistant coach actually. They're looking for a W tonight. They, they sense that they can win this game. Uh, they're just looking to play good solid soccer, possession oriented, uh, connecting passes and hopefully create some chances. Central Catholic also looking for the W, but looking more to get into form as league play approaches, uh, which is next week for both these teams. So there's tonight's game. They each play on Friday. Steve, I think there's a, their opponents are listed there down at the bottom who they play on Friday, and then league starts next week for both yes. of them. Rams will be playing St. Mary's Academy on Friday, and then on the 28th, they will be playing Clackamas. Yeah, that's the, the league opener. The Saxons will be playing Barlow on um, the 24th, and then on the 28th, they will be playing West Salem. Yeah, so both these teams have are looking to improve their games in the preseason here. I, I expect that... Um, that the Saxons will be a bit quicker. Um, they'll be moving the ball. They're a younger team, a little bit more, not as experienced as the Rams. So we should see them moving the ball a little bit, looking to send the ball quickly up the pitch. The Rams will probably have a little bit better ball control. We'll see them work the ball, making things happen a bit more. Officials are there. They call for the players on the pitch. So Dave Hall regularly does play-by-play -play for uh, Ram TV. Dave's back in Ohio visiting his family for a few weeks. Uh, and I'm not really planning on doing play-by-play -play for the entire first <laughs> half. I don't know if you are, Steve. Um, I'm sure he was. What was it the kids were telling me that um, Ohio State got upset by, uh, the, by the Ducks or something like that? Was that happened recently? Well, the Ducks fans were <laughs> saying it wasn't an upset, but okay, well, they okay. did get beat by the Ducks. Yeah, so, you know, I'm sure Dave had some comments on that one. We'll hear about it when he comes back. <laughs> be a little difficult to see for the viewers on online here while the sun sets. It's going to be great visibility here on the left side of the field. Rams moving left to right. Saxons moving right to left. Rams will um, have a throw in here. Nice take by the Rams there. They push it out. We got some speed outside. Rams take a nice early shot on go. They're looking to shoot tonight, I guess. We have a go kick here coming up. Rams make, oh, we've got an offsides call. So the Saxons again, bring the ball out, looking, going up the right side of the pitch. Push the ball up, Rams defender, controls. Oh, 
Oh, this could be interesting here. We got a foot race to the ball. Oh, Rams come up with it. We'll see a shot here. Uh, a little bit wide on the outside of the pole that time. So Rams not waiting at all to get their foot on the ball. Two shots on go already. Okay, we'll have a throw in here about quarter way up the pitch from the Saxons. Rams wait no time at all getting the ball back to the pitch. Nice ball control there. Oh. Looking here, she's looking across the pitch, see if she can get across there. She goes a little bit late. Oh, but she has a player who picks it up. And that's a little goal kick here. So Rams wasting no time, pushing the ball at the pitch, staying on the outside here, looking for a cross. Go kick here from the Saxons. Sends the ball out. First touch by the Rams. Out of bounds. Saxons will throw in. Throw in there, looking to control. Rams wasting no time throwing the ball in, finding a girl in the box. There's a shot here, nice shot. Oh, just goes wide. She may still be able to save that. Oh, out of bounds there. We'll have another go kick here. So the Rams very early in the match, taking three shots to the go. Moving the ball quickly up the pitch, waiting no time, wasting no time to get on their offense. Again, Rams getting good touches on the ball here. Saxons try to clear, Rams cover it up. I think we might have had a handball there. So Saxons will get a free kick here, about 15 yards off the center line. Nice kick to center of the pitch. Rams clear out to the side. Rams will have a throw in here. Doing a nice job tonight of so far maintaining good possession time. <laughs> South Salem able to keep that in. There we go. We have a cross there intercepted by the Rams.
Yep, we have a call here, I'm waiting to see what the rest signals. So the ref is signaling a kick here. This will give the South Salem team, the Saxons, an opportunity here. I'm sure she'll put that ball in the box. Looks like we have about five girls waiting to move into the box. We'll see if she goes directly into the goal, lobs it into the box. We'll see what happens here. Does a low kick, goes right, across the goal and out. Yeah. Rams goalie will have a goal kick here. So we have another call here. It looks like the Rams are going to get possession here for a kick. A little bit deep this time. There would be an opportunity to possibly put it in the box here. The Rams line up on the penalty box line. Okay, we have four on the line. Here we go. Oh, she does go deep there. They're in the box. Ball bounce around. Oh, good try there by the Rams. Saxon's goalie does come up with it, throws it out to the left side of the pitch, right side of the pitch. Rams with a throw in. And goes out, we'll have a goal kick here. Goes the goal kick here. Does a nice job. Gets about a quarter up the pitch. Rams get first touch. Saxon's working to take it back. Out of bounds. Rams will have a throw in. Going to the Rams. They look. Up. Oh. Saxon's looking at moving it up the pitch. Got some room here. Cleared out by the Rams. Saxon's will have a throw in. Just beyond the midfield mark. Saxon's looking for the ball, looking to make something happen here. Okay, looks like we will have a go kick for the Rams. The Rams have been able to move the ball up the pitch. A couple of shots on go here. Saxons are still looking for an opportunity. Kickoff here. Rams do a nice header to get it to go through. First touch. Okay, Saxon's reversed the field here. Oh, missed touch there. This could be an opportunity here. We got a foot race. Saxon's defense does a nice job getting back, clearing that out. So as we line up here, it looks like the, they will try to throw in into the box. Not sure yet. Yeah, Steve, Rams are doing a good job at targeting the number 17, Lucy Kratzenberg, up front. That was one of their keys to the game. And they have done a decent job getting the ball to her. 
get across here, a little bit deep. Number five is Elena Elmore. She's another one of the key players for the Rams. They're going to look for some production from her today. Yeah, boy! Saxon's come through with a nice steal. They intercept the pass, moving up the pitch. We'll see if she can get a cross off. Good defense. She does get in position for a cross. A little bit of collision there. Ref says play on. Rams all over it. Uh-oh, this could be... Rams clear it out, and it will be a throw-in. No lack of hustle on that play. Rams had one, two, three, and oh, they're pulling eight players, players back. back. Yeah, they're pulling a lot of players back on defense. I'm coming, I'm coming. I couldn't see these people's over here. Got throw-in here. This should be a shot so coming here. Nope. This is where they need to find the player with the space, number four is in the yeah. middle there. Sophia Bowman looking to receive the pass. Got another throw in for the Rams here. Looks like the ball may have gone out of the pitch here. Hustling for a ball. There's no balls and goals. Here we go. Rams throw in. Saxon's get the first touch on that. I just need to get 200. Okay. Oh! Looks like we might have a foul there. Saxon. Referee talks, says a couple words to the player. Probably a warning. Probably, yeah. I know the Ram player not getting up. Trainer's coming on. We get a number on that? Let's see. We've got our stat keeper here. See, that was a um, defensive player there, I believe. I uh, can't get an angle on it. Ram's going to talk it over in the middle of the field here. So an interesting first half so far here. We have the Rams who have been pushing the ball up quite well, getting some first touches on the ball, uh, getting three, four shots near the go. Um, we have Saxon still looking for their first opportunity here. They're able to get the ball up the pitch, but haven't been able to do any conversions once they get into the box. Yeah, we're 15 minutes in now, Steve, and this is usually the point in the game where one team will start establishing their dominance. I don't, I don't really sense it on either side so far. Now it looks like number, is that number eight? I'm not sure. She's walking off the pitch over there. Looks like we got a kick back there where the contact occurred. Looks 
So the Saxons down, looking for an opportunity here. They have not been able to create one yet. Rams playing conservative defense. They're moving quite a few girls back, help out on the defense. Making it quite difficult for the Saxons to find an opening there to get across. Rams clear. And we have a throw in. Okay, this should be a cross here, blocked by the Rams. Cleared by the Rams. Yeah, Lucy. Looking up here, yeah, looking, Lucy. gets it out to wide, to the far side of the pitch. Another pass wide. Oh, nice play. Oh. Got some struggling over there. Both players working for the ball. Looking, looking to find an opportunity here. Stay with the ball. You may see a cross come. Help. Barna, help her. Yep. Unlucky there, could not get that ball across or get the defender to push it out. We have a goal kick for the Saxons. Rams just kind of ran out of space there at the end line, but that is something Coach Weber was talking about before the game was getting the ball down to the end line and getting a cross in. Yes. So you can see the players thinking about the message that was delivered. Yeah, they've been doing a nice job pushing it up the side and finding those that opportunity there. Again, ball constantly changing possession out here. Both teams looking for some advantage. Got the Saxons this time with a throw in. Rams doing a nice job with defense there. Okay, going up the pitch there, a nice touch there. Oh, we'll push this ball out to the this side, near side. Oh, intercepted, but still controlled. Right, Saxons clear it out. Rams will have a throw in. <laughs> oh, we got a corner this time for the Rams. Let's see how they line up on this. This could be an opportunity for them. Okay, number four taking the corner here. Rams line up on the far side, post, deep in the box. A nice cross here. You get a first touch. There's a shot there, and it's wide. So the Rams taking advantage of that corner kick, looking like they had a good opportunity there. Shot a little wide. Saxons here with a go kick. So we have a sub here coming in. Number 19 came in for the 
Saxons. That's Aurora. Guterman John. Okay, nice turn there by the Saxons to get control of that kick. Lots going on. We're out. And throw in by the Rams. They don't waste any time. Get a touch. Oh, but the touch goes out. We have a throw in by the Saxons here. Okay. Saxons look. Find out where they're going. Okay, Saxon's finally cleared up the pitch. We've got a touch by the Rams. Midfield. Finally get a, we got a foot race here. This could lead to a Saxon cross. She does get it across. Rams are there to intercept. Rams. A couple of changes of possessions. Rams seem to come away with it. Oh, change possession again. This should be a... Ball uh, is cleared out over here by the Rams on the near side of the pitch. Saxons will have a throw in. Throw in. Rams cleared up the sidelines and may be saved. Nope. Saxons will have another throw in. Rams looking at bring it up. Okay, Rams maintain here. Rams move the ball up the pitch. Looks like we have a sub coming in. Maybe we'll get a number for us there, Steve. Yeah. Number four coming in. Uh, uh, number 13, it looks like. Number 13, Katie Strollberg. Nev will throw it there. Again, we'll see if we can get across here. Oh, ball is pushed out of bounds. We'll get a throw in. Rams waste no time. Try to go deep in the box with it. Oh, misplay there on the ball. That may be an opportunity. Nope. Good hustle there by the Rams to keep possession. Ball's cleared. Ball is sent to the far side of the pitch. Played out of bounds. I believe the Rams will have a throw in here. Okay, both teams struggling for the ball here. So Saxons will have a throw in on the far side of the pitch. About 10 yards off of the corner. Again, they'll have a throw in. This time about 20 yards off of the corner. Looks like we have a sub here for the um, Saxons. for you on that.
be an opportunity here. Oh. It's like we got a corner kick here. This will be an opportunity for the Saxons. Maybe they'll get their first attempt on go here. Saxons bring five girls near the box. Corner kick lines up, takes a nice approach. They went there. Kicks it high into the box, a little bit short. Yes, Head it out. Saxons reset. Another box shot across. Goalie comes out, yes, plays it. Up, oh, we have a call here. I'm not sure what. Looks like maybe a player touched it, and they're going to have a go, a kick, free kick from inside the box by the goalie or a defensive player. Their speed gets it up. Oh, touched out. Saxons will throw in. Looking at trying to, oh, we might get a long shot from outside. Goalie's there. So Rams, another shot on goal here. Saxon's front line has not had an opportunity to get a good foot on the ball yet. We'll see how they play this possession. Again, Rams come up with a nice take. Oh, nice steal there. Nice up, oh, outside touch. But that roll out of bounds, it does. Rams will have a throw in. So the Rams doing a nice job this period, uh, maintaining control of the ball, stepping in, stealing passes. Saxon still looking for an opportunity to get their front line into more action here. Have not been able to get a nice cross yet. And we have the Rams ball again, out of bounds, quickly to get it in, looking for a cross on the sideline. Oh, it was out of bounds. Quickly the Rams get back. Play a strong defense. Get the first touch on the ball here. Maintain some possession. And they do. Looking for a cross here. Is there an opportunity for a shot? No, she doesn't take it. Now she takes it. Oh, oh. go! Number four. Nice go by number four, nice. Sophia Bowman. That name sounds familiar, but Sophia Bowman yes, hits a nice yes, shot from yes, near the near the pit, near the box line. Shoots for the far side corner high and a go. Goalie had no opportunity to get to that. Nice go by Sophia Bowman. No opportunity at all to get to no. that shot. That was a beautiful hit. So that leads the Rams 1-0. Rams direct approach finally pays off. This will put a little fire underneath the Saxons here. They want to try to equalize this as soon as possible, but the Rams still managing to um, get possession back quickly. Saxons ball in a throw in.
Okay, we look like we might get a cross here. There is a cross. Rams break it up a little bit. Goalie comes out, handles the ball. Rams doing a good job of closing things down. They are not giving the Saxons an opportunity to get across to their key front line players there. They're doing a nice job on defense. Go lay it up. Go lay up. Leia comes up, gets a nice touch off using her speed here. She comes back. She'll get a touch to keep it in. Maybe get a cross off. She does. Up, cleared out by the Saxons. And we'll get a corner kick here. Good job by the Rams. I'm the only one doing that. They're doing keep attacking down the side. Try to, and she got the cross off that time. That's what yeah. she's been trying to do. It's good to see her have some success doing that. So we'll see what happens here. Again, we have Sophia Bowman over in the corner here. We know she can make that kick. She just made a nice one into the go. So we'll see how she does here on this corner kick. Let's see what the Rams might be able to come up with here. goes low with it it's touched goalie handles so they push it out real quick goalie going deep with the kick Saxons get first touch Rams right on the ball quickly Saxons throw in Saxon bringing the ball to the near side of the pitch. Let's see if they can move the ball up on this side. There they go. Oh, a little bit far out. Rams will have a throw in. Ball is up, touched by the Saxons. There we go. Rams now pushing the ball at the pitch again here. Lots of touches. Move the ball back to the defense who pushes it up hard. Good touch in midfield there. Lots of changes back and forth here. A lot going on here, not much changes, possession going back and forth. Finally, the ball cleared by the Rams. Saxons will have a throw in. Looks like we got substitution for the Saxons. Number 17 coming onto the field. Number 17, that is Perla Espino Martinez. Throw in here. Ra Saxons looking to maintain possession. I'll Ball gets slowly intercepted. Ooh, uh, we might see another strike here coming up. up. She turns, sets the ball up. Rams move the ball up. Intercepted here. That should be recovered. The Rams will have a throw in here. Too easy to throw in to read the read the pitch. Nice play. If they get this out there, there should be a shot high. Nice play there to push the ball out, find some room. Got a shot off about right outside the box there. A little bit high. 
Rams wasting no time on their attack. They have been they have been anxious and it's paid off for them the whole first period here. Well, they're hoping to catch the Saxons a little bit out of shape defensively, yep. and it's working. Yep. Saxons still looking for an opportunity to get their front line some opportunity to shoot. This might be one here. Odd angle, though. Right there, okay, but the Saxons will still contain it here. Pass. Push it inside, it's cleared. Okay, ref. Just letting the player know. Take it easy. Got a kick here by the Saxons. They look at players up. Bring back a defender to kick it. They'll probably go deep with this kick. Rams get a touch on it. Find some room here. Nice give and go there. Oh, unlucky. We got a high kick into the box. Goalie is there. However, I believe there may have been an offsides call, but I'm not sure. I didn't see the linesman's flag go up. I know, but so. the head official called something over there to freeze the ball. Oh, must be something over on the sideline there. Okay, the Rams will have a throw in far side of the pitch, about midfield. No, it's, I'm sorry, my bad. Saxons will have a throw in right about midfield. Approaching the end of the first half here. Rams need to just stay solid, there it is. There it is right there. So the Rams did a nice job this first period. They played their offense, they moved the ball well, got it up the pitch, got shots off, put one in high with an outstanding shot from Sophia Bowman, who put that ball nicely into the far corner of the net. Uh, Rams did a nice job getting back on defense, uh, not giving the Saxons many opportunities at all for their front line to get some shots off there. Rams mixing it up, pulling a lot of girls back. Good hustle there by the Rams. Saxon's still looking. They're able to move the ball up there. It's just a matter of time. They'll have an opportunity there. We'll see what happens this next period. Yeah, the Rams are, should be feeling good about their game. Their defense played excellent. They did shut down pretty much every single attack the Saxons mm -hmm. could deliver. I don't remember any Saxon shots on goal. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and if they can keep that up, they're gonna they're gonna win this game. Now, offensively, they did what they needed to do. They kept on attacking. They finally got an open shot, buried it, and uh, I think they they'd feel just fine with a 1-0 victory. But they're gonna be they'd feel a lot better with maybe a two, oh, yeah. a couple more goals in the second half. Yeah, they played well. They, they're, they're still sensing it. They still played hard. Even after that goal, they came back right away looking for opportunities, moving the ball well up the sideline. 
Their wings are out there working hard, getting up to the ball, beating the defense, getting some crosses in. They've come away with a few corner kicks. Right now, I'd say the possession time is theirs, and they just need to continue to play as they've been playing. Our statistician has a couple numbers for us. Rams have three corner kicks to Saxon's one. And I'm not sure I can read the rest of these stats here. <laughs> but we've got one goal to zero goals. 1-0 yes, score at halftime here. We'll take a break and be back for the start of the second half.
right, welcome back to Delta Park. We've got a score of 1-0. Central Catholic Rams up on the South Salem Saxons. Steve, you're sharing some thoughts about what to expect for the second half here. Yeah, I, team. I'm pretty sure the Rams will continue doing what they're doing, push the ball out to the wings, get the ball up the pitch very quickly. Nice transitioning, looking to get the ball across there. Uh, they're going to be playing both ways. You're going to see a number of players getting back strong on the defense and also attacking. The um, Saxons are going to look at trying to get the ball up the pitch. They want to get the ball into some of their uh, forward players, Maeve Morris, Caitlin Jones, Maya Fry. They want to get the ball up to them so that they can begin to look at shooting. So they kick the ball deep right away. Right away, Saxons coming out, trying to get the ball up the field quickly. Taking a page out of the playbook of the Rams. Yeah, I'll be real surprised if the Rams go too defensively here. Uh, their defense did well the first half. Uh-huh. And uh, I feel like they're going to want to press for another goal. Yeah, I, I think you're going to see. We're going to see them push the ball up the sidelines again very quickly. They'll clear the ball out. Look at getting it into the box, deep into the box. Looking at getting cross. They've done a nice job of getting first touches that first period. 19 has done a nice job for the Rams in the middle here defensively. She's covering a lot of space. She's closing down passes like that, making it difficult for the Saxons to, to come through the middle. It's a nice little give and go there. We'll push the ball up. Nice job here. Oh. Beautiful night. Here at Delta Park, it's still about 80 degrees. No wind. Couldn't ask for better conditions. There we go, Rams again here. Lots of changes back and forth here. Rams starting to settle in and string some passes together. Coach Weber was talking about that before the game being a real point of emphasis. Go nice reversal there. Rams look. Oh, we get a shot here. Goalie's there. Saxons again looking. Deep kick by goalie. Rams get first touch. Ball's controlled by the Saxons. They're looking now. Move the ball out to the sideline. This is what they've been trying to do most of the game there. Rams playing tight defense. Again, Rams here. Take it. So on the move here, they push the ball up. Okay, we got some foot race here. Some nice speed coming up. Unable to get the touch. Saxons come back. Ball is hit out by the Rams. Up, oh, off the foot of, off the foot of the Saxons. Nice turnaround there by the Rams. And we have a kick here by the goalie on the sacks. Oh, missed kick there. This could be an opportunity here for the Rams. Nice play in the box here. Saxons are able to clear it. Okay, Saxons have a little running room here. Oh, it looks like we got a little bit of a push there. It's 
going to give the Saxons an opportunity here. They're close enough to get the ball into the box on this free kick. Looks like they put five girls into the box there, right on the line. They're leaving the middle open. She might take a shot at go the way they're leaving the middle open here. We'll see. She does, goes all the way to go. Goalie is there. 40 yard shot. Yeah. <laughs> Might be their first shot on goal. The Rams again, able to get first touch in the ball. They've been very successful with that. Changes in possessions. Okay, the Rams slowly moving the ball up the far side of the pitch here. A little bit of change there. Saxons come up with the ball. Okay, so now we have the Saxons throwing the ball in here, sideline, number 18. Midfielder handles the ball quite a bit. There we go, ball is intercepted here. Saxons trying to work the ball through on the ground, but the Rams aren't having any of it. Right, Just putting up a wall on defense. Both sides of the pitch. Rams have been able to play strong defense. Coach Weber, you're fine with that foul right there. It's, it's not really in a dangerous spot. Right. But I don't need my words after that. <laughs> but the Rams are being physical in the middle of the field right when it gets into dangerous territory. Yeah. And the coach has to be happy with that. Another long kick. Rams again here. And 
doing a nice job putting their bodies in there, blocking the ball. Rounds have changed their formation a little bit. Steve, drop number 17. Uh, back into an attacking Thank midfield you. position. And number 18 has taken her spot as the uh, point forward up there. Still pulling most players back to play some defense here. Defense happening over on the far side of the pitch. We have a whistle there. Looks like this will be the Saxons ball. Long kick into the box here, header. Bounces around. Rams cleared out to the far side. Still in the box here. Could be dangerous. Still going. Rams finally get it out of the box there. Get a play in midfield. Oh. Saxons are starting to get some confidence here. This is this is dangerous for the Rams. This is what falling back into a defensive formation will, will get you as, uh, as your opponent now feels like they can do whatever they want. Some of those free kicks are being sent now into the box, oh. into dangerous territory. Right. Uh, the Rams need to figure out how to change the momentum of this half. Rams clear the ball. Almost all the action so far in the Rams half. In their defensive half of the field in the second half. Yeah, quite different from the first period. Yeah. Again, we get a cross here in the box. up there. Gets a little room here. Nice. I think there was probably a handball there. So unlucky handball, but I, I like the way the Rams are going to move forward with that ball. Controlled moving forward, but try to possess and take the ball down into the Saxons half of the right. field. Just kill some time, build some momentum, get some touches on the ball. Nice little move there on the outside. Good speed outside there by a Saxon player. South Salem getting the ball into the box here, looking to get across. Rams 
Okay. I'm doing a nice job of cleaning that up. Getting out there. So Saxons with a corner opportunity here. Saxons working hard to create opportunity. Yes. Their, their coach had a talk with them at halftime and said, girls, we need to get after this. We need to put more pressure on Central Catholic. And they certainly have done that. Coming over a corner here, packing the box on the far post side. There's a nice corner kick there, bends well. Saxons cannot get a shot on it. Boy, they're getting closer every time though, That's Steve. That's right. Yeah. The Rams, you need to start playing with a, a bit of a sense of urgency here. Yeah. I, we need to hear some, this is where some seniors on your team can demonstrate some leadership and start being very vocal. And yeah, they need to change the momentum here. They need to get that ball up on the offensive end. That's a nice, nice, a nice ball out. Yep. No. We got a sub coming in. Got number 18 going off. Looks like we got number five coming on. So that's Lena Elmore came on. Lena Elmore, yeah, she's their speedster. Uh, they, want, they just want a little bit more up front. Yeah, she did a nice job for them uh, moving the ball up uh, that first period. Again, you can't count the Saxons out. They are able to get the ball up into their into the striking range. They just haven't had the opportunities. Rams should be careful here. Got a couple of balls drop to the ground in the box. Um, and if you're Central Catholic, you got to be feeling a, a bit lucky at this point. Right. And here we go, another Saxons corner, corner kick. kick. So another possible opportunity here. Rams are going to have to play it tight. Saxons are having some momentum here. Last corner kick was a nice bender. This one stays low. Rams clear it out. Here we go. Now Rams get a, now a, chance a chance if they can find the space. That's where they got hurt right there is that block there. Got an off. Oh. Offsides call on okay. that. The player was in an offsides position when the ball was played. seven there for the Rams doing a good job controlling the area. That's Fiona, Rose Thomas. Nice job on defense back there. And Rams trying to clear the ball up here. Nice job there, crisscrossing. Number 22 putting in work over there. Yeah. Like that, she's maintaining possession, moving forward with it. Yeah. 
Okay, this is where the Rams have been dangerous before. Looks like they're going to come away with a with a corner. She earns it. Here we go. This may be the first Rams corner of this period. It is. And if you're the Rams, you're feeling good about having the ball down on this side That's of the right. field. Low there, drops. Oh, okay, it's a little bit high, high, high over the net there. Although the Saxons had quite a few defenders back there in that box that time. That was. It's a good look off of a corner kick. Yep. Oh, this might. Good effort. Sure. Yes. Good effort. 22 is putting in good work over there. Rams need to keep this pressure up. This is more like they were playing that first period. Intercepting the ball early, getting first touches on the ball. Yeah, right now it's an effort battle. First to the ball. Just, Just like, like that. Got to want it there. Great pressure by the Rams. There we go. Winning it back. You'd much rather play defense down on this end than down in your end. Oh, it goes out. Rams will get the ball back here. Work here. First Lucy field. Cranston doing a good job of giving it a switch, trying to get it to her teammate where yes. there's some space on the field. Steve, can we get a name on or number 22 for the Rams? That's Molly Mackey. Mackey. Yeah. This could be trouble here. No, Rams clear. Black. Saxons will come away with a corner kick here, though. Last couple of ones have been close. Lambs needs to try to clear this very quickly. Nice corner kick there, near side post. Rams able to clear it. Good job again by the Rams of getting their body in front of the ball, being solid. Defense has looked good for Central Catholic tonight. We have another sub coming in here. Rams, nice double teaming there to come up with that ball. Let's get it out wide here. Yeah, lots of space on their near side of the field, field here. Just not seeing it we right now. We see it. <laughs> Rams have favored though that, that far side of the field. Their right side they've, has been their favorite. They've definitely been right side dominant in the yeah. attacks. Now we got some room here. We'll see what they can do. Get the ball wide. Yes.
contact there. A lot of contact in the middle. Oh. So again, the Rams coming down. This is where they want to be. They want to get the ball down on this side of the pitch. This is where good things can happen for them. Oh, and we get a touch here. Oh, some shot on there. Goalie easy handles. Long shot out. Goalie goes deep. Gets it to Maeve. Saxon is just looking for any way to move forward. That's what they're trying, yeah. That's a bit frustrating for them right now. Good inside move there. Good outside back. This is where they need a cross. Are they both being used? Yeah, okay. it. They're going to earn a corner, corner kick, kick out here. of it. Go. Ram drops. Nine players defense back there. Oh, they go real deep on the far side there. We'll see on this approach where she goes. She goes high, close to the neck. Dangerous Goalie. ball. Yeah. Goalie does a nice job knocking her away, but we'll see another corner come from the other side. She did do a nice job keeping her eye on the ball, not making a silly mistake there on her goal line. It's a more difficult of a play than it looks like with uh, oh. seven white jerseys, <laughs> jerseys coming, coming down on you. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. So again, they line up here, far, far side post. Again, a high go kick this time. On, Bounces, dangerous there in the middle. In. There we go, cleared it out that time. Yes, Avery. Nice cross there, blocked. Oh. Goalie comes out. Nice job, goalie, to come out. Stop all that action in the box. In some games, the keeper right now would be screaming at their defense to keep the white team out of the goal box. That's true, and I'm They're, sure if their starting <laughs> keeper was here, but the, <laughs> that... Yeah. You are absolutely right there, Ryan. This is where some vocalization can really <laughs> come in handy, whether it's from your keeper or your back line or your right. fans. Uh, we've got actually quite a few fans here tonight. They aren't making too much noise. Um, But just it's intensity and focus back there on defense. They're, they're doing a good job at getting, getting first to the ball right. most of the time. Uh, but it's just going to take one, one mistake, one let up good. How are you? to give up that equalizer. And again, if they can figure out a way to keep attacking uh, and right. not have to play defense, they're going to they were doing they, they can run this game out. They were doing much more of that the first period. Opportunity here to change some of the momentum. We've got a foot race there. Looks like she'll get to it first. Turns inside. Nice well. job. Oh, good shot. Beautiful. Oh, there. Yeah. That's number 22. That's Molly Mackey. Molly done a nice job there. 
individual effort to get Ma up there. Molly needs to stay involved here in the second half. Right. Uh, her teammate did a great job finding her out on the wing. There was space there. She's got speed. This could be dangerous. Nope. Yep. Good idea there by the Saxons looking to get that give and go there. Unfortunately, went out first. A couple of subs coming in here for the Rams. We got number two. That is Monica Tran. And number 19 coming back into the game. 19, Susanna Thee. So I'm, I'm assuming we're probably around the um, 10, 5, 10 minute mark now. Looks like we got about nine minutes remaining. Yeah. Fresh legs in, nice job there to get that touch, good take. Good foot race here. Another good look from Lucy coming out of the middle there. Yeah. She's uh, really an all around player. She, she can play up front, but she can also distribute out of the middle. Careful here. Oh, this will be a shot here. Rams able to break it up enough to help the goalie handle it. Rams did what they needed to do there. Playing hard back there on defense. That's what it's going to take to finish this game out. Yes. You cannot give the Saxons any breathing room, especially in the middle of the field like that. Yeah. Here, Rams will get a throw in here. And get another throw in here. They'll take it, they'll move it up the pitch that way. Good hustle there. Hustle there, Rams maintain that. Simple throw in here. Did they go over? Looks like we'll get across. Oh, she takes it up the side. Yeah, there's kind of a big in the first half. Yeah, okay, no worries. I just check it. Again, the Saxons trying hard here to find an opportunity, but the Rams keep breaking it up, doing a nice job clearing the ball. Yeah, South Salem has about five minutes to make the last push here. Sure. Yeah.
Again, the Rams moving up the sideline there. They'll take the throw in. opportunity. Wow. It was a nice little touch with her head. Off the bounce, it was a, a nice little head on goal. Just didn't have enough speed on it. Oh, this could be dangerous. Up, oh, doesn't get to it quick enough there. Jackson's here with a kick. Rams able to put some pressure on the goalie. are going to want to go straight forward with this to see if they can get so trying to make something happen down yeah there. just to create uh, something maybe they can get a bounce to go their way and still stepping in there getting those touches Team sensing something needs to happen quickly. Rams would definitely like to get another go in here. Takes a long high one. Let's see if they get the header on. Another, another again. She gets the header another on. Head. Too high. <laughs> uh, I feel like if there's if there were four more minutes in this game, no. then she might get her next header to go in. She came in with some fresh legs and been running and they've gotten some key opportunities there. She's not the tallest player on the field, but she's winning the headers. That's right. managed to clear that see what happens here she took a night hard hit there she did she did get to the ball first though unlucky there for that player it's Elena key player for the Rams here This show will go over, talk to the linesmen, see what happened there. Teams collecting themselves, waiting to see what is the outcome. It's definitely a dramatic looking collision. It was. 
just pretty much upended on that. She was. Hopefully, it was, she's just wind knocked out. Wind knocked out of her, or just rattled a little bit. Yeah. Taking time out there. Hopefully it's just a bruise. Yeah. She, I'm sure they checked everything. It's a hard fall there. Well, and she looks like she's putting weight on it too. That's yeah. a good. That's a good sign. But keep our fingers crossed for her. Basically, in the last minute of the game too. She's uh, fortunate there. You got to applaud the effort. She's going for it. Been doing that all game. game. We'll see what the ref is going to what, what the ref's calling here. Yeah, he'll stop time for the injury, but we're we're, we're pretty close. much at the end. Yeah. It looks like the Rams get it on a drop ball there been an official timeout when the ball wasn't in possession. The Rams are right back on it. They are. Nice cross here. Yeah. No, they've been, the last few possessions, they've been um, tasting that go, getting very close with those headers. It's good. It's the way they're going to need to play the rest of the season to have success. Right. They, they need to play aggressively. Their defense is solid. Oh, again. Oh. Oh. Oh, offsides call. We want to clear that out. Push back very quickly. Can we get a name on that number two, Steve? Sure, that is Monica Tran. Monica Tran has had a really good second half here. She's been- She's done well. She's, gosh, she's been getting to the ball over and over and over in dangerous spots. She's got good speed. There it is. There it is. That is one happy Central Catholic, Catholic team. team right there. That's the first win of the season. Congratulations to the Rams. They deserve that win with an outstanding pitcher perfect go in the first period by Sophia Bowman. High to the far corner of the net. 
the Rams walk away tonight with a 1-0 game. Very, very encouraging for them, something they've been looking for for a while here. The Saxons played hard, couldn't get much happening. The Rams were playing nice defense, strong offense, although they did have some opportunities, came up with some corner kicks in the, the second period that allowed them some opportunities there, uh, but they could not convert any. And then the Rams picked up their game in the last 10 minutes and started playing more offense and came down and had some exciting plays there. Yeah. Steve, Rams did a great job of absorbing the pressure there at the beginning of the second half, pretty much for the that whole beginning of the first of the second half. Right. Uh, and then the Saxons just, you know, finally the Rams got control of the game and, and started putting the pressure back on. You, you feel like the Rams would have scored if there would have been another five minutes in the game. Yeah. Uh, which is exactly where you want to be if you're the Rams right now. You need to have success. You need to get that win. And you need to be playing well. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're looking at uh, league play starting next week uh, against a good Clackamas team. That's true, that's true. They've got one more preseason game uh, coming up this Friday against uh, St. Mary's Academy. I believe that's at Buckman Field. Um, uh, St. Mary's will be good, but, but they're beatable. Um, and the Rams are going to use this win as uh, a launching point to uh, hopefully some more wins as the season goes on. I'm sure Coach is pleased with their effort tonight. He got some good play out of his bench players, came in. I'm sure he saw a couple of things that uh, would, would allow him to add some different components to their upcoming games. Yeah, yeah, and on the South Salem side, uh, this one didn't go their way, uh, but they've got some bright spots uh, on their side also. Yeah, I'm sure they will make some adjustments, and they also will be um, improving as the season goes on. Yeah, I want to say thanks to our crew here, Elva Meyer, running things. Um, and uh, our statistician, Sasha Johnson. <laughs> Steve, thanks for uh, letting me join you uh, on the broadcast hey, Ryan, booth here. How, this how is you fun. did that and the cameraman, you're doing good. That's uh, our producer, okay. guys. That's why he's a producer here, because he can handle it all. <laughs> uh, I had a great time. It was a good night. It was a good, good, good game tonight. So on behalf of Oregon Sports Beat, uh, we want to close out the night. The Rams over South Salem 1-0 with a picture-perfect goal by Sophia Bowman. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, and we would like to wish all of you a good night.